Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will gonna show how to install ngRock in Kali Linux step by step. So in this tutorial, we are going to use the ngRock to expose your local host to the world. So let's start. NGRock allows you to expose a web server running on your local machine to the internet. Just tell NGRock what port your web server is listening on. If you don't know what port your web server is listening on, it's probably port 80, the default for HTTP. When you start NGRock, it will display a UI in your terminal with the public URL of your tunnel and other status and metrics information about connections made over your tunnel. So first of all you have to create a free ngRock account to use the ngRock servicers over the internet. Here I have created my account already. So I am signing in with the existing one. So this is the dashboard of your ngRock account. Here we have to download the ngRock binary. You can download from here using a single click. But I will download it with the help of the wget command. So open the terminal. And here first of all you have to update and upgrade your Kali Linux using this command. This is the command to install wget if not installed in your Kali Linux. Now I download the binary file using the wget command. Now we have to extract the file using unzip command. So this is the command to extract the file.zip using unzip command. Now we have to connect our Kali Linux to our ngRock account. So running this command will add your auth token to the default ngRock.yml configuration file. This will grant you access to more features and longer session times. Running tunnels will be listed on the status page of the dashboard. Now I want to share my local demo website. So I can access it from anywhere in the world. So for that, I will check the status of my Apache 2 service. And if you want how to install an Apache server in Kali Linux click on the i button here. So my Apache services are running, and the status is active. Now I open my local website on localhost. So I want to share this website. So we have to forward the port 80. So this is the command to request a tunnel to your local server. Or you can say this is the command to port forwarding using the ngRock. Now you will get the link that is accessible from anywhere in the world. You can share with anyone for as long as your local instance of LT remains active. Any requests will be routed to your local service at the specified port. So I am open this link in my web browser. Now you can see your local demo website is accessible through this link. That means this service is working fine in my system. You will always get two links when you are using the ngRock service. One link is without SSL, and the second link is with SSL. SSL stands for Secure Sockets Layer, and, in short, it's the standard technology for keeping an internet connection secure and safeguarding any sensitive data. Now if you stop the service you will lose your link. You will get an error on this link. And if you start the service again you will get the new link, so you have to share your new link. Now if you want to reset your auth token. You have to follow my steps. Now after resetting the auth token. If you want to start the ngRock service it will give you this error. That means we have to configure the configuration file first. So copy the new auth token from your ngRock account. Now open this file using the nano command. I will give all the commands in the description below. Now here replace the old auth token with a new one. Now save the file using Ctrl plus O and exit from the nano text editor using Ctrl plus X. 
Now you can start the ngrock service using this command. Now this time you will be able to start your ngrock service on Kali Linux. So that is it. This is the way how to install and set up ngrock in Kali Linux. Thank you for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe my channel so you don't miss out on my future videos. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.